Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is day number four of my 40 day spiritual fast because I started a ministry and I am ministering at a church um, this weekend and I have to make sure that I am in tune with the Holy Spirit. And so you really cannot do a ministry unless you've done a fast. And I seriously think that I should have done a 40 day fast a long time ago. But because now I'm going to be touching other people's lives, I really need to get it in to check. But being that this is day number 40, I mean, excuse me, day number four um, of this fast. And normally I have been having issues with wanting to eat when I've been fasting. So I've always ditched them like maybe seven days later. I am so motivated to be used by God that I am hunger is not something that I'm even encountering. And some of that has to do with the fact that I am continuing to take um, nutrients. So I am doing uh, magnesium today and I've taken some, uh, I'm also wanting to do a detox because it's really important when you're fasting um, that you clean your system out at the same time. So the other side of this is that God wants us to honor our bodies, our temples, which are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we can't do that when we're overweight, we're sick, like the world is sick. We've got high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, uh, acid reflux, um, migraine headaches. We're having all kinds of issues. And really it comes from the fact that we are eating too many processed foods. We're not eating healthy. Um, we're eating meat that is sick. Cows and pigs and chickens are sick and we're eating all kinds of uh, processed foods like cheeses and things that come in a box, things that are sold in the freezer section. So frozen foods, we're using microwaves. Honestly, the microwave te test is this. If you put a cup of water in the microwave and heat it up, let it go back to room temperature and start watering a plant with it, the plant is going to die because microwaves change the molecular structure of food. When you put food in the microwave, it kills it. So if, even if you're cooking vegetables, it is no longer a vegetable. Really the important thing to do is to eat live plants to get the live enzymes because that's really what helps to rebuild the cells in your body that go and fight off disease. So I'm also taking uh, apple cider vinegar and I'm doing uh, psyllium husk and bentonite clay in my teas because I have to get the mucoid plaque, the mucus plaque out of my colon. It is really gross. You have to look it up. It's um, called uh, mucoid, M-U-C-O-I-D plaque. And just look it up on YouTube and you'll see a number of people doing things to get it out of their system. I am taking things that is going to get that out of my body because I know it's there. I've eaten horribly for years, even though I you know, adopted a mostly vegan diet, but recently I uh, introduced fish back into the, my diet. And that's because Jesus gave the people fish. He fed the 5,000 with fish and he came back and had fish with the disciples. The seven day of Venice would argue that it's a he had a glorified body, but the point is he would not have given people fish if it was bad for them. So as long as it's kosher fish, I'm eating it. And so I really enjoy cod and I had been eating that. Right now I'm not eating anything for the next 40 days. I'm so motivated to complete this fast and to come out where God wants me to be spiritually and to spend time with him. So <clears throat> the other side of that is that I weighed myself. Um, today I'm 151 pounds. Again, I'm really skeptical that it's water weight loss, even though I'm replenishing myself with liquids. Today, I did have fresh squeezed orange juice because it's really important for me to have the nutrients in my body as I fast, especially the first few days that I'm fasting because I am doing a heavy cleanse and taking things out of my body. I'm also drinking probiotic um, water, my drink that I've made that I infuse with ginger and lemon and so I'm taking that to kind of help, pre, you know, get the healthy uh, bacteria back into my uh, colon. So I'm really focusing on that for the first few days. And for some reason, I couldn't sleep last night. I don't know what it was, but I had difficulty sleeping. Like just 
falling asleep and staying asleep. I was so energized. I wasn't tired. And today I haven't been tired. So I'm thinking tonight I'll get good sleep. But anyway, I really thank you for listening to my YouTube uh, video about my 40 day fast. And I'd like for you to go on the journey with me. In fact, you know, hey, there's some stuff that I'm going to be talking about on this 40 day fast because God has us. And he wants us and he loves us and he wants to bless us. And my journey on this 40 day fast is to teach people that you don't have to worry and stress about stuff. God provides for you on a daily basis. And that's what he says in his word. And so there's no need for you to pray for a million dollars or $2 million unless you need that today. Um, but he takes care of my needs on a daily basis and he gives me enough to share with other people. And I enjoy sharing because as long as God knows that you're going to bless other people and not be selfish, he'll always provide for you and give you overflow. And that's what I'm looking for. So anyway, take care because I like to keep these videos about five minutes and this one's at six. So I'm going to sign off because I hate to hear people ramble on. Anyway, take care and thanks for visiting.